Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to generate your own 3D shapes and then show you how to make use of them on your Elementor website and animate them like what we have here, floating objects like what you can see here. And also, you can also make use of these 3D images as background images as well, like what we have here as well. Okay, so without further delay, let's dive in and get started. The tool we'll be making use of to generate our 3D images is called the super designer tool and the link will be added in the description of this video where you can uh, access the website okay and over here is where you can select from the various shapes you want to create down here is the material you want to use to design your shape could be clay or shiny material down here is for the color and then you can also add the intensity the light intensity reduce it and increase it okay and then you can scale it up increase the size of the 3d shape rotate the x rotate the y and rotate the z Okay, so now let's generate uh, a 3D shape real quick, okay? So take for instance, I want to generate a donut. So we can come over here, set it to shiny. And then for the color, we can change the color. Okay, we'll have something like this. We can scale it up and then scale down. Okay, rotate it how we want. Okay, and then like this. Okay, then the next thing we're going to do is once you're satisfied with what you have, you can come over here and then you're just gonna come here and you're gonna export it as PNG or JPEG and then you can scale it up and it's increase the size. Uh, however, we could have leave it at 1x and then export it as a PNG. Okay. So we're gonna do the same and generate other shapes as well. Let's generate a holo cycle. Uh, we're gonna change the color. Okay. Alright, and then we're gonna come here, shuffle it, rotate it, uh, have a different feel, okay. Now we're going to come back here and then let's export this as well. So uh, I'm going to create, let's say, this capsule. Uh, we can come over here, rotate this. Okay. And then, yep, let's just export this as well. Let's create a plus this. Uh, let's change the color. Okay. And then let's rotate it this way. And then let's just export it as well. Okay, uh, we're going to create this shape. Let's change the color. Let's set it to clay. Export it as well. Um, okay, what other shape are we going to create? Have we created this? Let's create this shape as well. Okay, let's make it shiny. And then let's export it. So you can just export as much shapes as you want. And then once you're done, uh, we can create this cylinder. Uh, we can just export it as well. Okay, so we've exported enough shapes. So the next thing we're going to do now is how we can make use of these 3D shapes we've generated from this wonderful website for free on our Elementor to beautify our website. So we're just going to head back to our Elementor. Now this is the page we'll be making use of, this pre-built page. So I'm going to add our images here, our 3D images here, and then show you how to animate them and make it wonderful. Okay, so now what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to come over here I'm going to increase the, the Z index of these elements here real quick so that they will be above all our 3D shapes. Okay, so I'm just going to come here and then increase the Z index to 5 for this, increase the Z index to 5 and this as well, 5. And for the button, I'll do the same so that all the 3D shapes we're going to add here will be below this content, these elements here. Okay, and then this element will be above them. And then for this image here, we're going to go to the advanced settings and do the same, set it to 5, it's the index of 5, okay? So now what we're going to do now is come over here and drag and drop an image here. I'm going to upload the images we've generated, all the shapes. Let's going to add them. Okay, now this, uh, let's just look at this, let's see. Okay, this is what we created here. Now for that, let's rename it. I don't, I don't know why it took this default shape, but let's drag it and drop it this time. Yeah, but okay, what we want. All right, so uh, we're just gonna select this image. Okay, come over to the style option, and then we're gonna set the max width to twenty percent. Okay, and then we'll go to the advanced settings, and we're gonna set the position to absolute. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna duplicate it, duplicate it four times. Okay, now we're going to call this 
Imageware for reference purposes, but we are renaming it for reference purposes. Okay, image two, image three, and then image four. Okay, so for image one, we're going to leave it the same image for image two now. I'm going to come over here. Let's select another image. Let's select this capsule. Now for image three, we're going to come over here and then we're going to select this. And then for image four, we're going to come over here. Now we're going to select this here. Okay, so we've added all our images. Now the next thing we're going to do here, we'll go to the advanced settings for image four and then go for the advanced settings, come over to the position and then for the vertical orientation, we're going to take it downwards a bit over here. Okay, and then we'll go to the image three, come over to the advanced settings. For the vertical orientation, we're going to drag it down as well and leave it here. All right, and then we'll go to the image two. We're going to come over to the advanced settings and then for the orientation we're going to just take it to the horizontal orientation take it this way and then we're going to bring it down okay and then for this image one we're going to come over here and we're just going to come to the advanced settings and for the horizontal vertical orientation take it this way and we're going to move it this way Okay, all right. So now let's see how we've placed our ships. We can see we've placed our ship wonderfully on our website. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do here is let's just add a uh, few more ships here. Okay, so come over here and draw the image and drop the right above here. And then we're going to come here and let's select this ship here. Okay, and then we'll go to the style option, give it the max width of 20%. Okay, and then Go to the advanced settings and then we're going to set the position to actually just like we did for the ships here. Now you cannot see it here, but it's there. So we're going to come here and then we're going to duplicate it as well. And then we'll call this one image one. And we'll call this one image two. Okay, so for image two, we're going to come here and we can select another image. Let's say this image here or this one here, anyone. And let's just select this one here. And, okay. So now we're going to come over to the advanced settings and for the position, we're going to go to the horizontal position and we're going to drag it up this way. And then for the image one, go to the position and for the horizontal orientation, we're going to set it to the right and drag it this way so we can see it here. Okay. All right. So now that we've placed our ships in, in, in a good form, are we okay with the, the positioning? You can set the position however you want to set the position, okay? The next thing we're going to do now is we're going to try to animate these shapes and make them move on our website, okay? So to do so, we're just going to head over to our VS Code. This is where I've written down the code that will enable us to animate the website, the, the 3D shapes on our website. As you can see, these are the CSS classes, the various classes now for up, roundabout, and then the rolling class, and then the square move with the various uh, uh, animation motion explained here okay so we're just going to come over here and let's copy out this code and then let's go back to our elementor now for this container here this hero container here we're going to go to the advanced settings and then we'll come down to the custom css i'm just going to paste our code here okay so now we can come over here and copy the various css classes here and then make use of it now well let's say we'll copy the up and down css class for this here we're gonna come over here and then go to the advanced settings and come down to where there is CSS class. I'm gonna add this, and you can see I'm gonna do the same for this shape as well. Go to the CSS class and we're gonna add this feature there. Okay, so the next feature we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna come back here to our human section and then we'll come to the custom class. I'm uh, gonna come and copy out this roundabout movement, and then we can come over here to this image too. This image here, we're going to add that to it. So let's go to the class and let's add it. All right. So we'll come over here to this image. Now let's go to this image three here, this image here, and then let's add the same feature to it, the same class to it. And then let's go over to image two, which is this capsule image. And then let's go over to our VS code. Let's copy out this square move. 
here and then let's come back here and let's add it here add the class here okay and then finally for this one here we can just give it a rolling css class now it depends on how you want you can change the various classes however you want and then the various animation format however you want just to get what you want okay all right so now we'll come over here we can see now our 3d shapes are animated on our website they are moving and you can add more shapes and add more animations as however you want and then just design your website and make it look lively okay in as much as we've made use of these 3d shapes animated them on our website we can also use them as background images as well or just position them anywhere on our website just to betray our website so we can come down here and we can see this is the same 3d image we've used here as background you can see how it looks great on the website so you can make this make use of the 3d images however you want just to verify your website and so we've got the end of this tutorial if you like something new please remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to our channel please do well to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified first when next we drop a new video but until then see you on our next video bye bye